Good evening everyone. It's three o'clock in the morning where I am here on the Mediterranean in sunny Barcelona. This is Jan and you're watching my little day 86 of 100 days of making comics. I'm trying to keep it short even though I've been drawing all night long. You may have caught me earlier today on the um, Facebook live trying to trying to I have a little bit of fun online on the social media and it was it was definitely a good time it was really fun seeing uh, a lot of friends pop by and make comments and press like and whatnot and kind of draw in front of an audience if you will um i had a lot of fun taking the the piece in half an hour from pencils to inks and then afterwards i took it into the digital realm and uh Went a little crazy with the Photoshop coloring. Finally got to try out that white outline. I see uh, Scott Circland use all the time, which is very, very cool. What you're looking at right now is me drawing page four, <laughs> losing track. Page four, it's a big panel. Um, it's a big panel in which the group of explorers I have in a mysterious wasteland venturing outside of their ship because they've encountered someone walking around in a place too hus inhospitable for him to be out there by himself. Um, it's quite a daunting scene. I've, I've had a go at this scene, at this scenery on the first two pages and I at the time I, I really enjoyed it this time round I'm hoping it's a little bit more clearer as to what it is I'm drawing which is a very desolate rocky wasteland full of full of clouds and mist and smoke being lit very harshly by the ship, the vessel they, they travel in. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy watching these little videos. I, I certainly enjoy making them. The goal is to get to 100, 100 days of finding half an hour to an hour every single day to work on your own personal comic book project. Right now, being unemployed and loving it, <laughs> Uh, I have more than just a half an hour, so this panel alone took about an hour, I'd say. Um, and I'm about halfway through through this page. So yeah, this is the first time I actually got the uh, the rough the rough dry one out, as you can see right here, and just put a little uh, a little crazy with the uh, the thicker outlines. Um, I feel like I have to mix it up a little bit. Because I've I've been stuck in the I've been stuck uh, drawing on the finest pen I have, and it's it's certainly not speeding things up. Uh, I've I've also grown uh, grown too fond of uh, hitting the X button on my keyboard to switch between black and white, and etch away in the uh, in the opposite color. I've been I've been relying on that a little too heavily to the point that the first panel on this page there's some texturing in the background which just looks awful and I've kept it in there for now because I've got this thing where I don't want to like once I once I'm in too deep I don't want to keep correcting mistakes so I kind of just left it there and I'm already thinking like I'm either completely taking it out completely re redoing it or I am going to cheat once I get to the coloring stage and uh, make it look pretty that way somehow. first panel 
these are those textures I was talking about that are just bothering me to no end. Not sure about this guy here, even though he serves his purpose. This is all very messy, very unclear, and a good example of what I mean with the etching look rather than the fine line look, if that makes sense. This is also very unclear that she's holding the phone, that she's holding a book. I spent so much time drawing the hair and everything, and I think I got that, that it's flailing all over the place. I like his face too. But this is a mess. And I don't think color is gonna sort me out here, so. I really enjoy drawing this, this little scene here. Just nice and simple and just store a final panel. So let me know what you think. Is it clear? Can you see what's happening? Can you see all the clouds swirling about? Can you see the mist and the rocks, the strange rock formations and the wanderer with his cowl looking at the, uh, the crew member running around? I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely a little bit better than the uh, page one, the very first page. It's another late night. It's not quite over yet. I need to unwind because otherwise I'm... Uh... Actually, that's a good question for the fellow artists out there. If I draw like this all night long for hours on end and I go to sleep, I have like the most lucid, artistic, illustrative dreams. It's crazy. And it's always the most exceptional art I can't draw. So I need to unwind because I don't want to be frustrated going to sleep where it's like, oh, that's, the, that's my character perfectly drawn. I can't, I can't. Can I do that? So annoying. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been day 86. I'm Jan. Um, press like, subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Follow me on Instagram under the same name, Janimal. Uh, I've been posting very regularly there and getting some very nice responses. And um, the art I post there is mostly portraits and faces, and so a bit different from here, but it's definitely practice for what I do here. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, unless I take a day off. Heaven forbid. <laughs> See you next time. Be sure to check out yesterday's video because in it, I finally managed to put in a very special little trip to a very special museum outside of Barcelona. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on some fantastic art that I got to see. Welcome to the Salvador Dali Museum. 